but it's just uh, things you're never going to do. You're just never, no matter what, you just, it's never going to happen. Go. Um, if I don't get married, I'm probably not going to adopt anybody because I would just feel that was weird. <laughs> adopt a kid? Wait, wait, yeah, what? just as a guy. <laughs> <laughs> like a okay, solo. that was now. We just jumped right in the deep end. <laughs> what, what about yeah. what? What if there's a kid that's playing like at your local high school, and he's really big and talented, and you're he's like, like hey, sixteen. He's sixteen, yeah. and you're like, hey, I want to adopt you so I can make some money off you afterwards. Mm. I would hope at that point I have enough money that I wouldn't be thinking about the financial motivation. But I would just think it's going to be received poorly if I showed up to an adoption agency just being like, look, I sort of let life pass me by. You know, I'm doing pretty well. I get, you know, got a good setup, got a boat. But like, do you have any 12 year olds? <laughs> we could borrow wait, for a wait, second. Wait, yeah, wait, wait. I don't. Ryan, you realize that you went on a rant like 12 months ago saying that you wanted to adopt Chris Paul. Yeah, but he's older. And has his own money. <laughs> so like so he your seems, first... He seems a little more independent. I just don't think anybody's going to sign off on it. They're going to be yeah. like, wait, what's this guy's deal? Like, I was not saying, like, I wouldn't want to improve somebody's life. But I, I just, I don't know. I don't know that I'll get to a point where I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this. Yeah. Because I, okay. I don't think anybody would sign off on it. I, I guess my, like, what the my fuck? question on that yeah. end would be, what, what would have been... like it, hoops? What would have been in it for Chris had you adopted him? What would you have brought to the table as a father figure? Unconditional love. Love it. That's true. I mean, we've seen it time and time yeah, again. I mean, mm -hmm. Okay. Seriously. Was why? Was that too heavy? <laughs> no, I just that thought was great. Like, no, it's good. No, like, that was great. Adopting a not, child as yeah. a single guy. Yeah. yeah probably yeah. not for you. I don't, not for everyone. I don't think anybody's doing yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna go like Yeah, great idea. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's a great pick. All right, so Hank, yeah. your second pick. Or, or the or the first pick, your se second pick of the draft. Look, married, if I get married, complicate totally different thing. Totally right. different thing. I just want to put that out there. This is not a you never know, man. Stuff gets turned into it. Like, Rosillo also anti-adoption. You're like, that's not what I said. <laughs> well, you are a big tax guy. I'm sure the write-offs would be nice. <laughs> All right, our well. second pick. Wait, Ryan, are you fertile? <laughs> I love this Have you show. had your swimmers checked out? Ooh. Well, it hasn't been a huge priority. I've had a few people lie about it. Maybe that's why I don't have any kids. Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. That's no, true. no, you're younger and somebody older from the gym is a fitness instructor, and you're like, yeah, man, what's up? And then all of a sudden she lies to you about having a kid coming just to fuck with you for a little while to see how you react, <laughs> right as you're getting ready to pack up for senior year. Like, you know, there's some trauma maybe that I haven't worked through there. I'm like, well, hey, look, let me just finish up. You know, I got like 12 more credits to go, and then I'll come back. I'll get us a place. Like, we'll have to rent maybe year-round. Like, I probably were constructing my dad a little bit, but then I'm and have to move to the mainland if that's cool that's worked out and then it's like oh no I, I, i'm not really pregnant <laughs> wait are we still taping this <laughs> all right hank your first pick uh our first pick when i was billy's age i also uh, had a had a rocky road with my employment ship a little bit i always thought i was going to get fired i kind of did once and i always had this in the back of my head i'm 29 now i've just accepted it's never happening i will never graduate college mm. oh that's, wow non-graduate in the building yeah There's, yeah and actually what two two half of your team is that yeah yeah liam, liam i think has like a year left like i think he could probably get it together if he really had to i tried to do one online class and failed it miserably and was like i'm never gonna try that again so yeah. no i okay. will never graduate college as well would have okay. been an honorary degree i have though, like Hank. three and a half years i that feel I like have to, i have to do no but i feel like if you do become president one day you will get an honorary degree from somebody yeah, I guess that's in the cards. Mm -hmm. But I don't hey, know if that's, that's not really up? graduating. Yeah. Yes. I, I apologize for not knowing the full scope of the story, but like how many semesters were you I did you were? two semesters at Southern New Hampshire, but in both semesters I dropped a class, so I was taking like the minimum amount of classes. So like three credits, three credits. So I think I have six credits. And then I and did then, a, I did a one year film program that was just <laughs> focused on like video stuff, so not really college oh, all right. credit. Okay. And that's how I got into that, and then I started interning at Barstool. And he, and the first, but like the, the the film, it was like a one year program. Like I don't think those would be college credits. And the first day of Hank's job at Barstool, he had maybe fabricated a little bit on his resume, <laughs> and uh, showed up. It was the day that we did the combine with Todd McShay, and uh, Gaz was like, "So you ready to do this shoot?" And Hank was like, "Uh." I don't know how like any of this stuff is going to work. And then we kidnapped Todd McShay for like four hours. And uh, I remember Todd McShay turned, turned to us at the end and he was like, because we said like, oh, we want to do like mini golf with SVP. And he was like, 
if you guys ever thought you could run this operation with SVP, he would walk out of here 10 minutes in. Like, this is a clown show. And we're like, yep, that's true. <laughs> I was basically told to come, like, help edit it. And I showed up, like, all right, what are we going to do? What are we doing with these cameras? Like, where are we doing stuff? And I was just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> what shots you want? <laughs> camera one, camera two. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. No, I mean. But so then wait, I did, used to Dave. I, I I was like you know I had a, a rocky couple of years where I was like constantly on the ropes every day. I was like I think I might get fired. Who knows what the fuck's gonna happen? And I was always like oh I'll just go back to school. Like I'll be a twenty two year old sophomore. It'll be sick. Yeah. So probably not gonna do that. Yeah, now. not gonna do it. That's fine. Um. So me and Big Cat took this a little bit differently because yeah. it's it's both of us agreeing. We had to throw out certain things on yeah, our yeah. list. Yeah, it's not that whatever. we knew the other person might have a chance at doing. Yeah, like we, I said, like, oh, should see, we? Oh, see, that's not how we're doing it. Yeah, see, PFT and I collaborated. It's a team. Uh, because it's a team, and I was like, w should we put, like, dunking a basketball? And PFT was like, uh, I might dunk a basketball someday. And then PFT threw out there getting drafted by a professional sports team. I was like, dude, you're a kicker. Don't rule that out. So we def we came up with four that we really combined are never going to do. So you want to start with our first one? I'll do second. Yeah, sure. Our first one is run a marathon. Mm -hmm. Never going to run a marathon. Ever. Ever. It's just never going to happen. I almost became the first person in history to run a half marathon, never tell anyone about it. But then like three days into training, my back kind of hurt, so I stopped training for it. What if it was someone's dying wish? Nope. Nope. Not going to do it. A never marathon do is it. insane to do. It's yeah. nuts. It's so boring in the first place. It's like- what, It's so boring. Five hours to run this thing? What if uh, you're on a tandem bicycle? That's called walking. But. Yeah. And it's also like one of those things where I think in your 20s, you have that idea of like, yeah, maybe someday I'll run a marathon. And then you just kind of wake up and you're like, wait. 99% of us are like, no, we're never, there's nothing you could do to get me to run a marathon. The only upside I can think of to running a marathon is that afterwards you get to eat whatever the fuck you want. And before. And carb right loaded. before. Yeah, carb The night loaded. before and then right after the marathon, you just, here's my problem. If I ever did run a marathon, I guarantee you I would get fat as shit right after because I'd still have the mentality, oh, I just, I just ran 26 miles. Yeah. I can do whatever. And over the course of the next month, I put on 50 pounds. And you're a douchebag if you run a marathon. Let's just be honest. You can just buy the sticker for yeah. free. Yeah, you could just work out like a normal person. Yeah, well, the marathon thing's interesting um, because I, too, find it so boring. The training's boring. I ran long distance for one year in high school just because I was like, I'll do this. And it, it just, I was like, to get better, I just have to run longer to yep. get better at this distance. I, I just, I'm with you, man. And the thing is, it sucks because you if you train, you have to tell everybody. Yeah. What's, yeah. The, what's you, the longest distance you can run and still be a normal person? I think it's six miles. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. But the training, you're right. You have to tell everyone. All right. Our second pick. Um, See, I love the team thing because hey, Hank and I could have just picked, I make a video for Hank's brother. That'll be something <laughs> I never do. <laughs> All right. Second pick. This is another one where it's kind of, it's similar to marathon. It's just like. There is 1% of the population that does this, and the 99% of us that are normal people will never do it. It's own a snake. I will never own a snake. I like that one. People That's who own one. snakes, Good stuff. fucking weirdos. Again, I will never, ever, ever in a million years own a snake. PFT agreed. We That was a, a firm yes for us. Just like that, I can't possibly, because like this is a, a thing where you have to like run through the scenarios in your head. Like, could my kid be like, I'm big into snakes? No, you're not. You're not. In We're not this having household. a snake in our house. Yeah, right. Like, there's nothing that would ever get me to own a snake. The only thing that is a possibility in the snake, um, and this was a much bigger likelihood like a week ago, if somebody who will not be named had a snake and then died and left us the snake in I'd the kill, will, no. I would just, uh -uh. yeah. I'd kill the snake and put it in the casket. No question about it. I, I wouldn't even kill the snake. I just put it in the casket yeah. alive. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> it always ends up being a problem. We had a roommate, you know, in a house that we lived in, had a snake. It was fun. Party favors. Guys smoked pot. And then, you know, girls would walk around with it, which was kind of cool a little bit. Um, but then it disappeared and we found it dead in a VCR slot, you know? So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't own a snake. All right. Uh, Team Hank is you know back. How hard up. It is? You know how hard it is to take a dead snake out of a VCR? <laughs> it's got to be. Can't be easy. Yeah. And there's no, also, yeah. there's a lot of people listening right now. They're like, what did, what were those three letters he said? <laughs> VCR. Uh, all right, go ahead, Hank. I'm, I'm going to pass the baton to, okay. to our darling. Okay. So I had marathon as my one, one as well. So Ooh. you guys got me good. Oh, um, good board. Good board. This next one, it could happen, but it would be, uh, oh, shucks, reverse jinx, win the lottery. 
Oh, okay. like that would be a shame if I'm wrong about this. Or 50 50. Mm, yeah. See, I, I, I am going to win the lottery at some point. Yeah. I don't understand why you'd even go with that one. Are you yeah. playing regularly? Why would you ever no. limit yourself? Why would you? Because oh, every so time you think playing? you're going to win, it's just never going to happen. Yeah. Well, the odds aren't great, uh, accurate, but I, I don't. There's nothing that you've done or will continue to do. I mean, I guess if you don't buy tickets, then that you've sealed it. But I, that one seems, I don't know, that yeah. seems more on you. It's, mm -hmm. it's dicey. Yeah. And, and it's you know your luck, not mine. <laughs> I, I don't even blame Jake for that pick. I blame Hank for that pick for not letting Jake put run a marathon 1-1 one, one overall. Yeah. yeah, That's bad Team Hank is in shambles. I love this. I love this. All right. We haven't voted yet. You yeah. guys aren't the voters. Yeah, no. no, no, but Team Hank is in shambles. I can see it on Hank. It's face. not Team Hank. Yeah. It's where it's yeah. just it's team it's Hank. all the four of us. I, I gave memes a vote as well. I will win the lottery. I won the lottery being with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And also lottery, you don't have to the win. The Mount Rushmore lottery? Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can still say like, I won the lottery if you get one of the secondary prizes. Yeah. You only win yeah, like you, a couple you win, Wait, isn't winning a scratch ticket? Kind of. Yeah, that's winning the lottery. Yeah. That money comes from the lottery. Yeah, $20 mm -hmm. scratch ticket, get $5 back. That's winning the lottery. I actually have scratch tickets that I need to turn in that I never did. Like, you have to mail them in. I just never did. Okay. That's Good how they side note been there. like three years. For what? I just remember that. <laughs> For no, I just remember like if you get over like $600 and you have to mail them in. And I just realized like three years ago during COVID I did. You won $600? Whoa. Yeah. Never claimed it. it. It's it's good for three years. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, I, I, think I don't so. know why I said that out loud. It just like hit me like a ton. Yeah, that breaks. doesn't make any sense because whenever the lottery no, just, goes up, they don't check. say like, yeah. "Hey, no one got the ten million dollar winner, but we'll give it three years before yeah. next week." <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Ever seen. Yeah. You're screwed. All right. All right, you got two picks, Ryan. Extreme feats of toughness. Mm. I just think none of this is tough. Is going to happen. Like when I watch the big wave surfers, I go, "That would be awesome." I got eaten up on a five footer. And I, it sucked. I hated it. You're like, you're like, oh, am I going to drown? You know you're not going to drown. I can't possibly imagine what it's like when it's really big because I'm not even that good. Um, and I'll even say you're this. You're going like, to get better, really... though. That, that like, you can, no, you the can big get stuff, there. Yeah. The big nah, stuff? The big no stuff. way. Take a not trip to happen. Hawaii one day? No. Nah, lung exercises? Good like, conditions? Who the fuck am I kidding? Yeah. 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 I'm not, I don't think that's going to happen. And then I'm just going to throw in two others that I think are under that umbrella. So this is still just one pick. But like whenever I read, I was reading some story about this business transaction the other day where this guy was sort of a bully, but he was bullying the wrong guy. And the guy closed the door on him very much, you know, Bronx Tale style and was like, look, you want to get into this? We'll close the door and we're going to see who walks out. I love that idea. I don't think I'm ever going to have a chance in my life where I'm going to say that to somebody because the other thing that would suck is what happens if you lose? What if you say that and then yeah. you get your ass kicked? <laughs> But That's it is even badass. Worse. It is badass. It's a ass. badass thing to say, but like, where am I going to be where I get to actually do that? And I don't know why I would even want to. I guess it's just that element of wanting to test yourself and see where you're at. Because then I felt like I was getting really, really soft recently. Not, you know, actual to the touch, but I just felt <laughs> soft. And I started looking up like these extreme outdoor like test yourself type things and i was like looking at the itinerary of what it was and i was like i don't know fucking anthony edwards is so much fun to watch right now <laughs> i'm like i don't think i want to do any of these things so i just as i get a little bit older and shit hurts more and more and i just don't think i'm all that tough i just think any of the extreme acts of toughness whether it's big wave surfing mma at an office or um just outdoor survivalist shit and, and none of it's happening. I can buy a fire starter kit. I'm never fucking using it. Yep. I like that pick because it, there's like, I'll see like videos on your Instagram of like Navy SEALs training. And it's like, even just, you know that those guys have been training for two months and just them crawling on a beach. I'm like, no, I'm out on that. Just that. When I jump into the water, when it's cold, I think about those guys in San Diego. Yep. And I go... Yeah, it's a little it's a little chilly for you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's a little chilly for you jumping in. It's like, okay, how about get self-induced hypothermia rolling around in the sand in this water with logs for the next two straight days? How about you do that and then talk about how you want to kind of dip in slowly to the ocean? So I just, I'm so annoyed with how soft I think deep down I really am, which I shouldn't admit. Yeah. Where, where do you stand on these adventure races? Ones where you go out and you just like climb over a bunch of walls. It's like a three-mile course. Everybody always posts about those on social they're, media. They're, they're like, I've I done just, one. I just accomplished the the mud race. Yeah, they're so easy. Like they're not hard. That's not extreme enough, no. right? No, no. I want it. Is there a chance I can die? Mm -hmm. And I don't. I don't. These obstacle courses with some mud and a rope. No. no. Okay. Okay. Uh, good yeah. pick. What's your next pick coming around? Same Instagram deal. 
you'll see some picture like that's amazing. And then I'll look on the map. I'm like, oh, the northern tip of Sri Lanka. That might be really interesting. And then I'll look at hotels of what. I got to start eliminating some of these places. I'm never fucking going there. I'm never going. So stop being enamored by some awesome post. There's some great places in the world. Antarctica just seems out for a million reasons. Throw the South Pole in there. I don't think Russia would be hot on Instagram right now. You know, be like, oh, Rosillo went to Russia figures. <laughs> yeah. So, no, not doing that. I think there's parts of China I'm never going to see. So uh, I've been to a bunch of places, but this whole idea of this grand adventure and I actually finally live like it's a little different when I was at Hartford and I would start daydreaming about visiting all these places. I think you need to start coming up with like an elimination list of stop looking at places on Instagram where you're like even this little village in Oslo. I'm pro- it's north of Oslo. I'm never going to fucking go there. Great picture, though. It looks like a nice little town. Do you know what's funny? PFT and I had Antarctica on our list, and we kind of talked ourselves into maybe stumbling in there sometime. You okay, never well, know. how does that happen? I, I Walk don't know. me through it. You we, never know. There, there you could, never know. So I could find myself in Argentina someday, right? right? And I might... Totally reasonable. I, I might go you? out... I, listen, I came very close to going to Argentina twice in the last five years. And that's I would, good enough for me. That's why you can't put it on the list. So, it could happen. Yeah, you so, basically were in Argentina. I like was basically my, broken hands. So many yeah. of my good friends went to Argentina and I could have gone with them and I could see myself, you know, one night having a big steak dinner, drinking a little too much Argentinian wine. And then they're like, hey, we found this deal. You just take a boat and it takes you to Antarctica for a day trip. And then you come back and I could see myself getting talked into that and going on that trip. Now, it's not likely that it's going to happen. But it's not 100% not going to happen. Yeah, we didn't cross it off. It, it's not 100%. See, I like that. I mean, look, and Argentina loves kickers. They do? Mm-hmm. They love they love short guys with shaggy hair that used to play soccer. That do cocaine. They, that do they cocaine. love guys like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm well, surprised you don't pod from there a couple months ago. Listen, I, I just think that um, if I can find myself within one late night of getting drunk and making a bad decision of doing that thing, then I that is kind of off my list. And Argentina is close enough to Antarctica where I might end up there one day. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think this is the whole exercise here. Maybe a little more complicated than we thought, but um, there's just a lot of things. Like I was going to put seamstress. Well, that would require- I'm probably never going to look. I'm, I'm probably <laughs> never going to learn how to sew. And I know they pushed it on us back in my day when we were eighth grade. You're like, you're going to need to know this stuff. You're like, mm, probably not. <laughs> Probably not. It also requires I, sex change for the seamstress part. Oh, the seam. Yeah. So what What would that be? Seamster. 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 Seaman. Yeah. Did you guys just make that up? You'll yep. never be a seaman. How about this? I'm probably never going to know how to sew really well. Okay, that's fair. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, it's, an right. outdated, it's an outdated skill. Maybe it's on the way back. Yeah. All right, Hank. Team Hank. Phantom Thread. <laughs> uh, this one is from Bubba, but I think it's something that everyone here can relate to. It's uh, get another show on ESPN. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That's a yeah. good one. That's very relatable in this room. That yeah. Actually, yeah, that's that's 100% never going to happen. Yeah, maybe everybody on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah, that, I'm, yeah. I'm including you in that, Damn. yeah. That's a great pick. That's a great pick. Okay. Um. <laughs> Ryan, what, what would it take for you to to go back to ESPN? Uh, support. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I would never say never do it. I mean, it's still, but it would have to be like, hey, we actually, you know, we know you're really good and we're psyched about it. Yeah. I'll say <laughs> that never. Would be, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can say never. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, PFT, you want to do our next pick? You want me to do? Uh, I'll go. Our next one is move to St. Louis. It's just <laughs> never. We tried to figure out this one city in the United States that never. we would just this is it. Yeah. have no I, I reason to, do to this. move to. I yeah. tried to do it today, too. And granted, there's a lot that you're not going to. But I, all right. So let me stop interrupting because I want to know how you got we, to the here. We, we were actually threw it out there and we're like, because, you know, we, we tossed around the live tour because it's hot in the streets. And we know that that's not a no for us forever. But then we were like combined it and we're like, what if the live tour was stationed, headquartered in St. Louis and they offered us two hundred million dollars each would we move there? And we're like, no, nah, I don't. I don't think so. Like, if that's bullshit. No, I don't. Two hundred million. I, I, I mean, so. I know I, the pod does well, but give me a break. No, Ryan. I in I your thirties, nah, you wouldn't I, move to St. Louis nah, for two hundred million a year. Yeah, that's I, a lie. No, no, that that's a lie. That's a no, I just that resigned for double lie. that, Hank. I don't yeah, need the right. money anymore. I, if they said Indianapolis, I'd be like, I'm in. But St. Louis, no thanks. Yeah, name any other city. Detroit. Yeah, yeah. I go to Detroit. Hartford. Yeah, why not? Yeah, pizza. So you go to Hartford before you go to St. Louis. Yes, yeah, pizza. You got a beach nearby. St. Louis has good food. Yeah, they've got the pizza, which is like 
it's like a Ritz cracker it's with terrible. ketchup and and shredded mozzarella cheese. Good on it. sports town. No. So yeah, we'd never move. Chris to St. Long like St. Louis. Well, he had to be in St. Louis. Jason Tatum's from St. Louis. Okay, and where is he living? He now? is. Isn't Beal? Yeah. Do those guys know each other? <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one for us. Uh, we're never going to try heroin intentionally. <laughs> yep, I'm never going to go to a dealer and be like, I feel like it's a smack day. Yeah, I had this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but we're not play- unintentionally. We don't know, but yeah. intentionally, we're never going to try like, heroin. You always hear about the the horror stories, the reefer badness stuff. We're like, oh, a drug dealer laced your cheap drugs with a much more expensive drug, and that freaks you out a little bit. But like, who knows? Like somebody sprinkles something on something else that we try to buy. But intentionally, I'm surprised. No, I'm surprised heroin isn't bigger in nursing homes where people are just like, "Fuck it." Oh, yeah. dude, I've, apparently, I, yeah. I've said if, if I turn a hundred years old, I want to. <laughs> actually, now I'm talking myself out of the pick. If yeah, I no, turn, you're never doing that though. If I turn a hundred, I wouldn't mind going out on a bat on a big batch. Yeah, but we're never gonna do it intentionally. There was there was this. This sucks, but there was a regular who used to show up to one of the bars I worked at, and he was always a little off, and he would like dress up, and he eventually just opened up to us that he was a, a recreational heroin user, and that all the the cliches, the stigmas are all bullshit. He's like, as long as you have it in check. Yeah, that's He's, a recreation. He, yeah, he, that doesn't seem right. like the correct sentence. Yeah, <laughs> he uh, he stopped showing up. Yeah, yeah. So we're mm-hmm. never doing it. Never. It's never going to yeah. do it. That's a good pick, okay, right? Okay, good. That's yeah. good. This is like a PSA for everybody, too, Never. That's ever. on the fence. Not yeah. even once. Not even once. All right, Team Hank, last pick. Uh, this is kind of similar to Ryan's Instagram travel destinations thing, but I was always loved watching these videos when I was a kid, and when I was younger, I was like, I'll definitely do this eventually. I don't know how, but I've kind of just accepted it's never going to happen. It's it's the wingsuit diving. Like, yeah. not, not parachuting, <laughs> but oh, the yeah. actual, like, jumping mm-hmm. off the cliffs and, like, riding with the cliffs. Yep. <laughs> That, I mean, you have to do like a million jumps. You have to become like a pro jumper. Definitely going to hit a rock. Yeah. Like, I'll, like I, I'll definitely I'll, I'll hitting a yeah. I've never Everybody even gone hits skydiving a rock. once. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably go skydiving at some point, maybe eventually, but I don't think, I don't think the wingsuit will ever happen. That's a, That's good, a good choice. Because I don't think they even let you wingsuit in a, in a safe environment. Like, nobody ever jumps off a cliff into a giant valley and then just pulls a parachute. They always have to like follow a river and go in between trees and rocks and shit. There's just no upside to it. None. Uh, I I gotta say though, some of the footage on the wingsuit adventures, I think it's a bit like the mountain bike on the trail with the fisheye lens on the camera, where everybody goes, "Oh my god, would you do this?" Or like, "What was the light?" And then you go, "Yeah, a lot of that's the camera angle." So sometimes the Whoa. wingsuit footage. Look, I'm just telling you, Hank, it might not be out of the realm of possibility because I think some of the wingsuit footage is shot from a an angle that makes it look even more dangerous. Like when they're in some ravine between two mountain ranges and they're just going through it, I think there's more space in there. So I wouldn't rule it out. Do you guys, I know the guidelines have changed on Instagram, but I think it used to be that like there was a thing that said like, do you want to view this? Like someone died. Would you guys watch it? Cause, or is that just me? I I've seen, it. I've seen yeah. the crash videos. Yeah. I would watch it. Yeah. I watch those every time. It almost like, I got to, yeah. I don't, I don't, when somebody sends me somebody fucking themselves up at the gym, I hate it. Oh, I, I love it. it. I skip all of them. I don't like watching. Any and like uh, ro- so uh, rock climbing with the ropes. Not not without the ropes, but like rock climbing when they like fall off. Yeah, and I love smash that Smash into the side. Oh, oh, the best. You love that? Oh, I love it. Because I know I don't I'm, think never, I'll, I'm never going to be yeah, in that spot. That's another good one. I wouldn't mind buying some rock climbing equipment. Doubt I'm going to do it. And I'm definitely not going to free solo. I'm just too big. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Free soloing is insane. Like, nobody retires gracefully from free soloing. No. You just have to keep finding a more dangerous rock to climb until you fall off. Yeah. They're like, it's like wrestlers and porn stars. They're just no old free soloers. I don't know. I think porn stars outlive a lot of the free soloers. Yeah, that might be true. Yeah, Yeah. see, what's the most dangerous profession? Um, All right, your last pick. My last pick? Yeah. All right. I had a few, few more options here. Um, I think joining Chris Long and Kilimanjaro's out. Yep. I can't say I want to do it, but yeah. 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 I, I probably shouldn't say it's out. He's asked us to do it numerous times. I've said, yeah, that's amazing. And then I see some of the other guys that make it and I go, I think I'm good, but like everything fucking hurts all the time. And I can only imagine like waking up the second day going, you have to go. You can't not go, but God, this 
this is a lot. I think it's a lot harder than he l- leads on. But then sometimes I'll think about some of the people that make it. I go, I should be able to make it if that person makes it. But we've had this Kilimanjaro joke going on with Long for like five or six years. The Water Boys organization, shout out, donate. I don't think I'm probably ever doing that. No, no. I, I mean, I, I keep saying I'm going to, but I'm not. Let's be honest. Hopefully think, he doesn't listen to this part of the show. I think after you have a kid too, you can't do stuff like no. Recreationally, I might die. You yeah. know, like there's a chance that I would die on Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah, I don't think you would. I think it's just though this could fall under some of the other ones we've already hit, but this one's so specific because of the personal relationship. I've hosted the Water Boys event twice, and then you always end being like, it's like LeBron when he's at the dunk contest that one year and announced that he'd be in the next one, then decided he didn't want to do it. I think I've done that twice. I'd be like, and we'll be, you know what? And here's a thousand dollars, and I'm going next year. And then you realize like how expensive are the tents? Oh, it's nine days. Yeah. Yeah, right, trade, a, I think it's a trade deadline. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, if Kilimanjaro was like maybe a, a day weekend? and a half. Yeah, right, yeah. exactly. I'd be in. If it was like, you know, five, five hours of hiking and then maybe three hours of hiking, I'm in. But yeah, way too long. Um, all right, what did we miss? Anything else? Anyone else want to – anything? I, I thought about throwing on never going to be a car guy, um, but I hope someday I will be. But that does seem like something either you have or you don't. Uh, run for president? It's probably or get elected president. Probably. Get elected, run is yeah. Run is anyone can run. Yeah. 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 But it, it, getting elected president, I feel like there's too much bad tape of us out there. Mm-hmm. Like there's just an endless supply of opposition research on us. Yeah. Uh I think there's been a lot of evidence that some other people who have been elected aren't the sweetest. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, a couple bad takes here or there. Joe Biden, you're is talking it? about Biden? Yeah. <laughs> What did no. you think about the bike accident? <laughs> Careful. I think exercise is great for everybody. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to streak at a game. Good. Right. No one wants to see it. Why would I do it? Like, I don't. Were you ever thinking, like, no. what, did this grow from a 10%? Wait, what? Did it grow from 10% to 0%? No, but like, you know, when you're in your like 20s, you could, you know, if you're dumb enough and you get, to- you know, Drunk like all enough, your buddies yeah. get talked into it, you know, like, oh yeah, like one of us has to do it. Like I, that just would be a no forever. I also think streaking, it just gets tossed out there all the time for any idiot that's on the field. That's true. We need to bring the original definite, like, unless you're naked, you're not a streaker, right? Correct. You're just a trespasser. Yeah. Yeah, but I do love – I feel like people have opened up – I don't know how it's happened, but like the whole thing in the beginning of like, hey, never show the people doing it. I feel like we're getting to see more of it. Maybe it's because people were started chaining themselves to the baskets or trying to glue themselves to the court. But, yeah, I, I think there's like a really weird – we've 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 sort of pivoted into showing a little bit more of this stuff. So if that means more people doing stuff, uh, I know it's – well – I don't know. I'm just entertained by it, which I know is maybe bad to admit. Uh, the last thing I had was learn a new language. Not going to do it. Uh, no, I think you'll want to do that when you get a little bit older. Apparently, no. it helps you with Alzheimer's. Okay, so I'm not going to do it still. So what, Well, you, enjoy Alzheimer's then, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. But I still, I think I would rather have Alzheimer's than learn a new language. You really don't think you'll ever learn anything else? Not a new language. Like, fluent in a new language would take so much. I don't go back to school. Hank already had that pick. He's not getting his college degree. Fuck no. Like, could you imagine sitting down and trying to learn an entirely new language? What languages could, do you know? I could barely do English. What's your love language, though? What about sign language? Uh, sign language would be sick. That's so in right now, Dakota. That's true. Yeah, I feel like sign language. If you if you have somebody that comes into your life that's deaf, sign language is it's on the table. Shit, you're right. Okay, that's a good. But point. You that's why we didn't no, pick yeah, it. Yeah, that's a good point. It was a good yeah, leave yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I, right. I had uh read the Bible cover to cover. Not that's gonna, such a good pick. I'm never yeah, doing that. Not gonna do never. that ever. It is something that I'll has have anyone to ever done it? Has anyone yeah. ever read it cover to cover? They no just one. Memorize a couple phrases. Not even the popes have done it. They're just like okay. That's what I think. We have we know the Ten Commandments. And uh, that's about it. That's really all you need to know. Yeah, and by the way, like font size, like a lot of plot holes. If you re- if you go through the full thing too, true, absolutely mm-hmm. true. If you, if you wrote that today, there'd be some producer would be like, ah, I just don't, 
a little unorganized. Main, uh, yeah, the, the main characters are just not well rounded enough. Could the bush uh, explode <laughs> instead of just kind of smolder for a while? <laughs> Some C four in that. Um, Michael Bay does the Bible. I would watch that movie. Yeah, it, it, the Bible, a Jerry Bruckheimer joint. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that so wait sick. a minute. So the so the men are all the strong characters. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Does the Bible pass the Bechdel test? Yeah. There's a lot of bad takes. It's a lot of. I mean, there, should, takes. there should be a Twitter account, Old Takes Exposed for the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, big yikes, my guy. Cancel. <laughs> yeah, get it ha- get this it didn't funny. age well. Yeah. Well, yeah. right. I mean, it was. That's the point. <laughs> 2,000 years ago. Um, okay, that was a good Mount Rushmore. I feel good about that. I feel good about it. Was it? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't You're know. always doubting yourself. I No, I'm after- always doubting the Mount Rushmores. Oh. Okay. Yeah. After the rest giving of stuff, I feel great about. Go Jake, ahead. the floor. Yeah. I realized we will we will come to an agreement. Yeah. Beforehand. Yeah, it's like yeah. a team thing. That's the whole point. Like PFT and I sat down, fifteen minutes, talked it through, took some things off, came to a consensus. We I feel very strong about our four. We're gonna dominate this Mount Rushmore season.